In this lesson video, I'm going to continue working with the tip calculator application. And so far, we've created a new activity and a new layout to work with it. We've also set a timer in our new activity to execute after seven seconds. Now, what I need to do is change the actual default layout that loads when the application is clicked on the Android device. If I run my application, which I can see the emulators down here, all I'm going to get is the Hello World screen, which is coming from the activity main.xml. You can see the hello world here. What I want to see whenever the application opens is tip calculator. So I need to make the changes within the Android manifest file. To do that, I'm going to go ahead and restore this window down and locate the Android manifest file, which is going to be below your folders. There it is, Android manifest.xml. I'll go ahead and double click it. And let me go ahead and maximize that so we can see the options we have to work with. There are five different tabs here, the Manifest tab, and the Application Permissions, Instrumentation, and the Android Manifest at XML tab. They all refer to the same file here. They're just a different screen for us to look at for the options. I'm going to go ahead and click on the Application tag first. If I scroll down, you can see a couple different things. First, the theme was up here for our application, but also I've got the different layouts are listed down here under the Application Nodes and I can see the particulars about each one of those applications. If I move over to the XML tab, I'm going to actually see all of this laid out in the XML code. And you can see that the code starts off with the manifest tag opening on line 2 and closing on line 31. So all of this is in between the manifest tags or all belongs to the manifest itself. You'll see the package name listed up here as com.example.tipcalculator. You're also going to see the software development kits, which you can see the minimum SDK is currently 11, which is what we chose, which is Honeycomb, and then the target is at the moment 18, and I can manually change these if I wanted to. Now within the application, I have two different activities. Here's my first activity. This happens to reference the main activity.java file, and the second activity tags that I have set up here references the splash activity.java file that I created in the first lesson. One of the major differences you'll find here between these two activity tags is the intent filter listed here. Now this intent filter is what actually causes the activity to load first. If I go ahead and copy that or cut that out, I'm going to go ahead and choose to cut it, I can paste that in the next activity. So I need to be before the closing activity tag here of my second activity, and I'll just go ahead and paste that in. Paste, and that'll cause this activity to load first. Let me go ahead and switch that over so you can see that. Let me save my changes, Control S, and then I'm going to go ahead and choose to run it. Now as the application closed, you're going to see that the tip calculator is here. The name of the tip calculator is actually going to be changed. There it goes to Splash Activity. I'll correct this error in, in just a moment after our Splash Activity loads. And so as the splash activity is loading, you're going to see the words tip calculator, and this is the default activity now that loads on my application. Now if I wait seven seconds, nothing's going to happen because I don't have any code set up for that timer task to execute. So now I'm going to go back to my Android manifest file and see why the application's name changed. And if you take a quick look at the label, you can see that on the second activity, it has a label of title activity splash. Up here on the first activity, the label is a string called the app's name. So the app name string is currently holding the value tip calculator. And that's what I saw before. Right now, since this is the default activity, it is going to use the string that's set up as title activity splash. I can change that by just switching which string is being used here in code. I'm going to go ahead and use the app name string rather than the title of the activity. Let's go ahead and control S and I'm going to switch this back over and choose to run tip calculator again. And before it closes, you can also see that splash activity was the name on the top of the activity as well. So here's splash activity, that name should change. And there it goes to tip calculator. And now as the application opens, you're going to see tip calculator at the top as well as my splash activity loading first. All right, so if I go back to the Android manifest file, those are the only changes that I need to make in the Android manifest file. I'm going to go ahead and close that. 
And in the next lesson, we're going to go ahead and continue looking at the life cycle of an activity so that we can better understand how to switch between the different activities.